person. <gasps> wow, that's a surprise. Ah! Oh, Legrand. Is something the matter? It's not like you to walk right up to the second floor without even looking at the board and sit quietly like this. You're not feeling sick for eating too much ice cream or something, are you? Don't be silly. I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Could have fooled me. I swear that you were the one who ate three full scroops first thing one morning and later had to go get some stomach medicine from Spence. Maybe my memories play you tricks on me. Ha <laughs> ha Let's all pretend that never happened, okay? Besides, that was back when I was a junior racer. That was forever ago. I learned my lesson after that, I swear. Now, I never have more than one scoop each morning. You're not supposed to have ice cream in the morning at all, you know. Well, no matter. So, what you've been doing up here all this time anyway? Oh, right. Well, you see, I got a letter from my pappy. Who lives a long way this morning. Really? Now? He's a swordsman, if I recall, isn't he? Yep, he's an instructor. He's really famous among swords practicers. Actually, Yun Ka Fai of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. Ah, yeah, that's the one. I was familiar with the name even before meeting you, but I was quite surprised to find out you were his granddaughter. Didn't he used to live here in Liberal? I'm surprised you know about that. I can't say I have any memories of when he was here, though. He was around when I was born, so how could I? That long ago, I see. So, how's he doing? Well... Judging by his letter, yeah. He's doing fine. I haven't had the chance to meet him in person for about a year now. Last time we had the chance to spar, I felt like he was totally babying me, even though he's like 70. Ah, he really must be skilled to be treating an active bracer that way. Hmm. What? Huh. What's with the sudden serious face? Well, it's not at all that major, but I've been wondering something for a while. Why do you stay here when you can join him? Sorry, I'm lost. Well, it's just that you're aiming to improve your swordsmanship, aren't you? It feels like you've had a grandfather like that. The fastest way to do that would be to go with him and polish your skills at his side. That's... well... I suppose it's not my place to tell you what may or may not be best for you. Sorry, you needn't pay any attention to an old man like me. No, that's not true at all. I really appreciate your advice, so please don't think it's not your place to give it. I can definitely see where you're coming from on this. I do have my reasons for being here at all. They're just a little difficult to explain. Oh! I do want to learn more about swordsmanship and swords in general. So in that sense, you're right that continuing to train under Pappy would be both the best and fastest course of action. But that's not all I want to do with my life. I want at least as much, if not more, to know more about what it means to be a bracer. I guess it's a case of wanting to learn more about swordsmanship as a bracer rather than as a swordsman, if that makes sense. Am I even doing a good job of explaining this? Oh, no, I see I, where you're coming from, actually. Besides, Happy once told me that he taught me all the technical side of swordsmanship forms, crafts, and all that stuff that already. Whether I can master them or not is down to me now. So in that sense, I feel like there's no specific need for me to train under him nowadays. Of course, whether I'm really advancing my swordsmanship now is another issue entirely. I wish I could say for sure I was, but... I see. What's with the silent treatment all of a sudden? Oh, it's nothing. You're just not really one of those kinds of serious discussions, so I was impressed to see you were even capable of them. I am so capable. Besides, you're the one who kind of pushed me into talking about all this stuff first. I'm glad I did, too. Anyway, getting back to the point, what did the letter even say, anyway? Oh, right. <laughs> well, as surprising as it is, it says that I should go and see Cassius Bright. Cassius? The one and only? That's right. Supposedly, Pappy was invited by the Royal Army to be a guest instructor at some point a long time ago. That's when he trained Cassius, too. So ever since, they've had this kind of student-master relationship with one another. Cassius even went out of his way to go and see him ten years ago when he decided to stop using a sword, too. Ten years ago? I would put that around when he left the army and become a racer. What exactly prompted him to tell you to go visit Cassius now? 
Well, I guess he only just recently found out that Cassie's returned to the army. So now he's wondering whether he might take this opportunity to take up the sword again. Hmm. I gotcha. He wants you to go and ask for him. I let him know what he says, yeah. I see. People really do end up connected in the strangest places in the funniest ways. Tell me about it. Anyway, that being said, I kind of have a favor to ask. You want time off, I assume? Well, who am I to say no? You've got good cause to have it. I can even get in touch with the army and set up a meeting with Cassius if you want. Really? Really? Go ahead and get that truth your grandfather wants for him. But in return, I want you to take care of every single one of the monster extermination requests on the board first. Every single one? Aren't there like five of them right now? Sure, but the monster in this area will be no trouble at all for you as you are now. They'd be less of a problem if Grant were around, but I had to lend him to the guild over in Ruan and he's still not back. You're gonna have to pick up the slack here in his place, especially if you want time off. Okay. I'm really sorry about the delay there, Annalise. Oh, don't be. I'm more thankful you took the time out of your busy schedule to speak with me at all. This is the least I can do for someone of my old line of work. It's been a while since we last met, though, hasn't it? you become a seasoned veteran before I knew it. I certainly like to think I have. I can't have Estelle soar ahead of me while she's abroad, can I? This is just what rivals do. So they do. I'll be looking forward to seeing just how much stronger the two of you can become. You won't be disappointed. Getting to the point, I was pleased to hear that Old Master Kafai is still in good health. I believe it was because of him that you came here today? Y yeah that's right. I didn't realize you were an acquaintance of his before this. I certainly am. In short, he's the man who taught me the way of the sword. That was over 20 years ago by this point. The first time we met was when I was back at the military academy, so I studied it under him. I still remember the harsh training sessions he gave here at Lystan like they were yesterday. Er, really? Is there any special reason you didn't say you knew him before? You knew I was his granddaughter, didn't you? I did. By the time I first met you, I had long given up the path of the sword. It didn't feel appropriate in my eyes to act as if I was a student in light of that. Oh, gotcha. I hadn't seen him in about ten years, I think. He does write to me on occasion. But how is he these days? Does he still have that same old vim and vigor? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really act his age at all. Still, if you'll let me get right to the point. The reason I came here is to continue the discussion he had with you ten years ago. Oh. To tell you the truth, Pappy still laments the fact that you left the path of the sword. That's why he wrote to me when he heard you'd return to the army. He wondered whether you were returning to the military meaning you're ready to pick it up again. So, this is it. He'd like to know, directly from you, how you feel. I see. Oh, it is a great honor that after so many years, he still cares so much about the inexperienced and utterly lacking swordsmen like myself. And yet, I'm afraid my answer is that I still have no intention of taking up a blade again. I, can I ask why? You certainly can, but I'm not sure how to put my answer. This has always been on my mind, too. I've always wondered what would prompt someone so skilled with the sword. They even gave the title Divine Blade to leave it all behind. And I don't mean to make light of your skill with your staff, or say it's inferior. It's just hard to wrap my head around why you did what you did. And there's a little part of me that can't accept it either. Especially now that you've returned to the army, why can't you return to being a swordsman? Hmm. Uh, unless... You believe the staff is stronger than the sword after all? No, not at all. I just believe the staff to be more fitting weapon for me as I am now. Staves are a symbol of protection, which are used more for keeping enemies at bay than cleaving through them. Y you say that as if all swords are good for is cutting and killing. That's not true. 
I fight because I want to protect things just like you do. As a swordsman and a bracer, and myself. Are you telling me the swordsmanship Happy taught isn't going to let me do that? Oh, I see. Hmm. Perhaps this is fate. I see Master Kafai hasn't changed one bit. He's the same firecracker he always was. What do you mean? I'm afraid as I am now, I'm not able to answer the questions you're asking. But I know someone else who can. Too. There you are. Are you ready to begin? Indeed I am. I never expected to have to wear this uniform again, though. Especially not so soon. <laughs> I'd almost think you enjoyed messing with people. Ha! <laughs> I'm not doing it to bully you. You know as well as I do, your usual work clothes aren't well suited for this kind of thing. You're Colonel Richard. I realize this may sound like a silly, a little silly coming from a man wearing this uniform, but I'm no longer a colonel, young lady. Sorry. So, Mr. Richard then, or Alan? You can call me whatever you wish, though no need for the mister. Meanwhile, I believe you are Annalise, a senior bracer with the guild. You know me? I'm not the former commander of the intelligence division for nothing. I know about all the bracers in this country. I... I see. But how did you end up being here? Actually, Richard was who I was meeting just before I spoke with you. Really? In short, I've decided to start up a new research company as a civilian. So while I may not be part of the army anymore, I can definitely see myself continuing to need to work with it in the future. So I decided to come here in order to discuss the matter with Cassius in the hopes of maintaining a good relationship between us in the future. Oh, I get it now. Wait. Is the person you mentioned earlier? That's right. I want the two of you to fight one another. Uh, wait a second, this is a bit... sudden, isn't it? Especially if I'm gonna be fighting the famous Colonel Richard. Is that so? You don't want to know the answer to the questions you asked me earlier, then? I believe any doubts you have towards swordsmanship can only be dispelled through using it. Focus not on whether you win or lose, but on pouring all you have into the battle, and you should find the answers you seek. Alright then. I'm not sure I'll make much of an opponent, but I'm sh I'll do what I can. It's not every day one has the chance to test their skills against a relative of the Eight Leaves School's founder. I'm eager to see what you can do. Begin! Right. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> I forgot his voice is so different from what I give him. Die with honor. <laughs> Die with honor. <laughs> That didn't work. Ooh, that's nasty. I think that worked. I missed! This is annoying. There we go. Yeah. 
Oh, and he gets to go again? But... Don't do anything stupid. Okay. I'm a little nervous about him hitting me really hard, so we're gonna do this again. do need to buff ourselves. Please don't you dare use your burst. Okay, we're good. We did it! Crap, I... I did it! Well, it looks like my skills still have a lot of room for improvement. Alright. The victor is decided. Sheathe your blades. So, Adelaide, how did his swordsmanship appear to you? Well... He fights using the Eight Leaves School's fifth form, Morning Moon. He's made a few changes to the standard form, but it's largely styled based around sword drawing techniques. Well, okay, I noticed a bit more than just technical details. What did you notice? One thing I realized while fighting him, Richard swings his sword as if perfectly synchronized to my breathing. The second I go on the offensive, he reacts without fail. In that sense, it feels like his swordsmanship is much more defensive than offensive, I suppose. The defensive stance matches perfectly with the form he uses in combat, and the result is very natural, very powerful swordsmanship. Oh ho! Hmm. What I can't work out is why you're so focused on fighting defensively. I mean, I assume it's because you want to protect something, but what? Annalise. Yes? I wield a sword, f but for one single reason. That reason is to protect this country. Oh. Everyone has at least something that they wish to protect in this world. Perhaps that is a person, such as their family or loved ones. Perhaps it is a belief or ideology they hold dear. And just as the things we seek to protect are different, so too are the ways we choose to do it. In my case, the way I choose to protect what I care about just happens to perfectly suit the defensive swordsmanship you noticed. Although, I can only imagine how comical it must sound to hear a criminal who threatened this nation talk about wanting to protect it. Uh, well, not really. Richard, you... Please don't say anything, General. Her Majesty may have chosen to pardon me for what I did, but that doesn't make the crime simply disappear. Still, just as your desire to protect Liberal remained even after leaving the army, I can't completely turn my back on mine. It was so that I could do so that I resolved to leave the army, even. It was? You see, Annalise, to me, one's position in life is just a means to an end, a way in which to achieve whichever you wish to do. I think that's true for one's choice of weapon as well, wouldn't you agree? 
Well... What's important isn't what weapon you choose, but what you use it to do. What inspires you to take it up and use it to fight. The reason I chose to put my blade aside and take up a staff is those feelings have changed. That is all. So, Annalise, any more thoughts? I should just use my sword in the way that best fits me to do what I want. That's what you're trying to say, right? Sure it is! You beat me to it! You're Master Kafai's granddaughter, all right. Very quick to catch up on things. <laughs> I'm just as quick at forgetting things too, though. But I finally get where you're coming from. Really? I'm happy to hear it. Could I ask you to pass my answer on to Master Kafai then? Consider it done. I'm sure he'll understand. Then again, would you be opposed, Richard? Not at all. I've already inherited the way of the sword itself from you. It's only right that someone else should inherit that. What are you talking about? Well, that's settled. Would you accept this, Annalise? What's this? It's a blade I once used myself. I think it would be much happier in the hands of an active practitioner of swordsmanship than in my own at this point. Oh, wait a second. I couldn't possibly accept this. This... Surely, if anyone should be taking this off you, it should be Richard. Perhaps on the surface. But how things are on the surface is not what's most important. I think you just learned that fact. I'm not sure the lesson I learned earlier has anything to do with this. There's no need to think so seriously about this, Annalise. All you need to do is take up this blade and use it to do what you want to do, in the way you choose to do it. That's all anyone expects of you. To do what I want to do in the way I choose to do it. Well, if you insist, I'll be happy to accept it. I feel I've learned a lot today from having the opportunity to face off against you. I do hope I'll have the chance again one day. So do I. You'll both have to make sure you don't neglect your training, then. Of course. I wouldn't dream of giving it any less than 100%. So, Pappy, while I bet you knew all along, it looks like Cassius has no intention of taking up the way of the sword ever again. But thanks to seeing him, I ended up being given a chance to re-examine my own swordsmanship. Up until now, I thought it was all about getting stronger, faster, things like that. But now, I finally realize that's what's far and more important, and either of those things is why you take up the sword in the first place. Your feelings. I feel like now, I finally understand why I was never able to defeat you. I might not be the best student in the world, but I'll keep giving my training all I've got. That was sweet. That was cute.